Welcome back to Tech Nerds and More, and today I'll be showing you this DIY stream deck slash macro board that I found on Thingiverse. I will be giving you a look at what's inside and what it takes to build it. If you haven't already, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. If you haven't heard of Thingiverse before, it's a quote, thriving design community for discovering, making, and sharing 3D printable things, unquote. I will leave a link to the about page and the home page of Thingiverse in the description. Now onto the stream deck. It features 8 Cherry MX switches that have custom 3D printed keycaps on them designed and printed by yours true. The case is also 3D printed and both can be 3D printed in PLA or PTG. It is best not to use ABS as it has a tendency to shrink and you need good tolerances for the bolt holes, as well as the switch holes, which hold the switches. Inside you can find an Arduino Pro Micro, link in description, as well as a rat's nest of wires. Inside the switches, you can, f you can find LED lights, link in description. These were not part of the original build, but I decided to add them just so I would have a visual indication that the key I pressed activated. Well, how would you know when a key is pressed just from the LEDs? Aren't the LEDs solid all the time? So glad you asked. The LEDs dim when you press a key, and they stay dim for as long as you press the key. I'll put a link in the description for the code. Now, usability. What do I use a Stream Deck for? For the most part, I use it for muting on Discord and OBS, so I don't have to alt-tab out of my game every time my mom comes in. Secondly, I use it so muting stuff doesn't take up a key on my keyboard, just in case I need to type and accidentally mute myself. Lastly, I stream. Yeah, you heard that right. I stream on my Mongoose channel, link in description. And I need some hotkeys for all the necessary things that streaming requires. Thank you for watching, if you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit that like button, and while you're down there, Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and remember to screw with confidence.